let's get on the train, go to London and buy some manga. I have no restraint. So I got on the train super early. It was like before eight o'clock in the morning. It was cold, it was miserable. I was pretty tired, but I had my trusty volume of Comey, which kept me occupied for all of uh, about 20 minutes. And then I had a nap and then we were there and it was beautiful. It was hot, it was sunny. London's really busy. I'm not really used to that in the north. Northern towns are pretty quiet, but it was fun. And anyway, we went straight to Forbidden Planet. I couldn't wait. I wasn't looking for anything in particular. I just knew I wanted manga, um, basically as much as I could carry back. The manga is all kept down in the basement in London. So we went straight down and I went straight over to the new manga section. Spotted Cheeky Brat. I wanted to pick up but I knew it had already been dispatched so I didn't and a lot of other new releases shown in titles I have no idea then over to the sales section again I had absolutely no idea what most of these were there was a few like big omnibuses super cheap I think they were damaged though also so many light novels but I just can't collect anything else so starting at A I went through basically there was multiple volumes of every single series I think this was supposed to just all be shown and insane in, but like as you could see, there was some banana fish there, a whole bunch. Every volume, there was like five or six of each one, which I was crazy. So it looks really full, but maybe there wasn't as much selection as you would think. I don't really know how this was supposed to be laid out because I've noticed there's lots of shoujo and other titles mixed in there. But then there was like a separate section just for shoujo. And a separate section for like BL and GL. Um, and then there was like a adult section. Anyway, this was mostly Shonen, some Dr. Stone, loads of Fire Force. I really, really want to pick Fire Force up. I watched some of the anime and it was really good. Full Metal Hardbacks, they are so nice. I need to finish collecting those. And then moving around the corner. There was quite a few gaps, so much Haikyuu. Like they probably had every single volume. So much Hunter Hunter, like there, there's about 10 copies of number two there. I don't know why they think they need so many of those. Jojo's was crazy. Look at all that Jojo's. Big hype for it again, just don't know. All the Jujutsu Kaisen, yeah, I don't know. And getting to my favorite bit, all the Komi, oh, it looked so good. Komi should have had a bigger bookcase, to be honest. Like more people should be reading that, love it. Um, a few titles I was like really wanting to pick up and I just, I didn't know. I just didn't know where to start, to be honest. Lots of monster. It looks like there's so much, but like that's a whole shelf of basically the same volume. I mean, My Hero, look at all those volume. Are oh, there's that volume one. So many. I can totally understand them stocking up on the most recent volume because I guess there's a lot of people going to pick it up, but do they need like 50 volume ones? I don't think they do. Lots of Naruto and One Piece. It was all the Omnis though, not many single volumes. I don't think I got to the end of the alphabet and I was like, where's DB Otaku? Oh, there he is in the shoujo section. And it was tiny. Look how small this is. Two tiny little short bootcases with shoujo. Just shoved on there. One or two of each volume. What a sweet little wave. Really tempted to pick up Snow White with the red hair. They had quite a lot of volumes, but I just don't know if I'm ready to start it yet. Moving on to the LGBT section, They're, I felt like this was pretty small as well and they again they had like multiples of each copy so it, there wasn't that much to choose from and they didn't have any of the volumes that I really needed. Then I turned around and I was like where is my shopping buddy and I found him over in the adult section looking at something super questionable no doubt. I think we all know who influenced him to go over there and say nothing else. Honestly after that I was exhausted, needed food and a nap before heading home with so many books. I would definitely go back though. I really enjoyed my trip in London. Hi guys, that was a little video of me shopping in London with DB Otaku uh, back in April. And uh, I'm gonna show you what I picked up in Forbidden Planet. And we did go to a few other bookshops. I got something in one at bookshop, but I can't remember what it was called. So I'll try and find out and, uh, and add it in or link it in the video. <laughs> I'm gonna start with some seinen and shonen titles and then go on to all the shoujo, which is the, the bulk, I would say, of the haul, of course. We went to a small independent comic book shop. 
I think it was mostly second hand, but they did seem to have new stuff in there as well. Can't remember what it was called. Um, they had like quite a small selection of manga, but I had a little look through and picked up a few things because they were quite a good price. So firstly, I got Beauty and the Feast volumes one and two. So these still have the stickers on the front. They were six pounds each. They are Square Enix, so probably retail for over 10 pounds. And I thought it looked cute and wanted to try it. So yeah, I got them for 12 pounds for the pair. I think this is still ongoing. Not sure how many volumes in the series. But um, yeah, I, was, uh, I thought this was a good find. So I was happy to pick these up. And also in that same store, I picked up volume 15 of Toilet Bound Hanako Kun for four pounds. This one is brand new. Label on the back, brand new price is 10 99 It's one of the volumes I'm missing. It's not a series I've read yet. Um, but for four pounds, I thought, why not? And this is quite a recent volume as well. So I don't know if they just had like a lot of stock or something and they were just trying to get rid. So yeah, happy to have picked it up so cheap. We did go into foils, um, but I didn't pick anything up in there. It's quite pricey. There's no like offers on or anything. And it was really nice. Um, I'd never been into foils before, so I, it was really nice. Um, and we also went to Waterstones. They also don't have offers on anything, but I am a Waterstones card member. I had 10 stamps on my card, which meant I got, I had 10 pounds to spend in store. So I thought I would use that. And I picked up um, Touring After the Apocalypse, volume one. This looks super cute. I'm not sure if it's like a GL or if it's just a post-apocalyptic world with two friends. Not sure what the story is, but it looks really cute. I love the cover, that's what sold it. Yeah, so I'll be uh, excited to try this one. Okay, everything else from now is from Forbidden Planet. So I'm gonna start with some shonen. Um, the next two I picked up were um, on a recommendation on Instagram. Um, I promised I would pick these series up because she said I had to read them. So first up we have Dr. Stone volume one. I know this is complete at 26 volumes, so I'm not gonna pick them up until I've at least read this one and see what I think. I have watched some of the anime, like random episodes, and it did seem really interesting. Obviously, it seems to be a huge favorite amongst the manga community. So I will definitely, I'll definitely read it and potentially be picking this one up soon. All of the viz I picked up in Forbidden Planet were on three for two and seven seas were also included in the three for two, but just viz and seven seas. Everything else was full price. And I also picked up on recommendation, Blue Lock volume one. This one, I think it's like in a volume 24, 25 in Japan. I'm not really a football fan. I haven't read any sports manga yet. I have picked up a few volumes of Haikyuu, but I haven't started it. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this, but again, everybody just like seems to be raving about it and I should really branch out past the shoujo high school romance and you know, Jose drama series that I like get sucked into. So I, I am gonna give it a go um, and I hope it's good. So yeah, I will read these and let you know what I think. Moving on to some seinen. I picked up Kowloon Generic Romance Volume 3. Love this series so much. Um, every volume I'm just a bit like, what is going on? But I kind of like that. I love the feel, the like, the art style, just everything. I absolutely love it. I would recommend this if you are looking for something kind of unusual to read, but really, really, really good. And next I picked up BL Metamorphosis Volume 2, which is a really sweet series. Um, it's just really cute. And yeah, I was looking for Volume 2 for ages um, and I just never found it anywhere. So I, when I saw it, I knew I had to pick it up quite slim. 10.99 but it was on the three for two also picked up the case files of Julia richard volume two i've been looking for volume two for ages as well 
Um, again, 7C, so it was on the three for two. This label says 9.99, but I think I got charged more than that. I haven't actually started this series yet. I have now got all four volumes that are currently out. I don't know if that's complete or if it's still ongoing, but I plan to get into it soon. But again, I've only heard good things about this. Um, then I picked up Skip and Loafer volume seven. So when I picked this up, it was like the 30th of April. I was so excited because this wasn't due to be released until uh, the beginning of May. So I was like, ooh, early pre-order. I'll have to pick it up, forgetting that I had actually pre-ordered it online. So now I have two. So I gave away my duplicate copy to someone who needed it. Um, and I need to stop doing that. I need to stop <laughs> pre-ordering things and then forgetting I've pre-ordered them and buying them again. So I got this cheaper anyway on the three for two uh, deal. I love this series and yeah, looking forward to more. I haven't watched the anime. People are saying the anime is good. I just, I would rather read it. Basically, I would rather read everything. Uh, next up, another one I wasn't sure if I was gonna pick up. Just, I didn't know if I liked the look of it, but I got my special one, volumes one and two. Haven't started this one yet either. Um, shoujo high school romance as far as I know I think is it an idol there's like a, one of them is an idol I'm interested to have a go and see what it's like and it looks really cute next up I picked this up purely because I thought it looked really pretty it's the eccentric doctor of the moonflower kingdom look at that and the cover's like embossed it's really nice um, it kind of gave me like apothecary diaries vibes when i picked it up and that is basically the whole reason i picked it up but i think it'll be a little bit more like fluffy um i don't know if it is a shoujo or i'm not really sure what it is but i just got that kind of vibe or maybe like a, like with a mixture of the king's beast or something i don't know i just thought it looked really uh really nice and i wanted to give it a try i also picked up cinderella closet volume one i have read this one and it was really interesting. There's like a little twist to it. So it's a shoujo series, um, or maybe it's a Jose series. It's about a girl who is in college, um, who basically has no fashion sense, no makeup sense, and um, looks to this very attractive woman for help. Um, and this is the guy she likes. It's just, it's really interesting. I don't want to say any more, but. Um, she kind of gets a makeover. That's not the spoiler. <laughs> yeah, I'm really interested to see where this goes just, just because of the twist. There's potential for it to be quite uh, drama filled, I think. I don't know how many volumes are gonna be in this series. I don't know when the next volume is out, but I will look out for it, definitely. Wanna keep going with it. And I picked up The King's Beast volume 10. When I picked this up, I hadn't actually read any of the series, but I have since binge read one to ten and i am obsessed absolutely love it it's so so good i feel like if you're gonna read it you should binge it like read it all in one go i just feel like the, it flows really well and it, the pace is quite quick i read it over like three days um like on an evening after work and just i just absolutely loved it and can't wait i don't know where it's gonna go from this point i feel like things have been resolved but then there's like maybe something more is gonna happen. I don't know how long this is gonna run for. Her other series are like 11 or 13 volumes, so it could be coming to an end or maybe it's gonna be a long running series. I don't know, but I love the style. It's it's so beautiful. Um, the character designs are just absolutely stunning. The story is so interesting, gripping. The pace is really nice. I just, I can't recommend this enough if you're into like a fantasy shoujo um, historical type manga. And lastly, from Forbidden Planet, I picked up three volumes of Banana Fish. So I picked up volume four, five, and six. Slowly picking this series up. I do plan to do like a full read through later in the year. I think maybe by like October, November, I might have picked them all up and I will read it. I would like to read it before the end of the year, um, but I have quite a large TBR before then. Um, so yeah, I can't really comment on this other than I know as well, it is very much um, beloved in the manga community and I wanna get in on it, so yeah. 
so that is 18 volumes I picked up in London. My bag was very, very heavy on the train back, uh, not gonna lie. Really happy with what I picked up. Can't wait to get into some of the series and now looking forward to the next volume of some of the ongoing series that I am up to date with. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.